The impending presidential race for the People's National Party has intensified and will continue to intensify as the leadership transition progresses over the next three months. Information coming out of reports have indicated that most of the PNP delegates would like to see Lisa Hanna as the next president, as this information comes from a leaked PNP poll. With Lisa's impending announcement today about her willingness to run as a candidate for the president of the PNP National Party, it should be noted that there are many other senior members of the party who are interested in becoming the leader of the PNP. Now, these persons include Peter Bontin, Mikhail Phillips, Damian Crawford, Mark Golden, and of course, Norman Washington Horn had also mentioned that he would be willing to serve. Based on results coming out of the PNP commissioned poll, it seems that many believe that Lisa Hanna is the front runner to take over the leadership reins of the People's National Party. In an astonishing turn of events, Lisa Hanna, who narrowly won her seat in St. Anne by 31 votes over Delroy Granston of the Jamaica Labour Party, is currently seen as the best suited individual to take over as president of the People's National Party in a recently concluded poll which was commissioned by senior members within a sect of the PNP which includes PJ Patterson and Birchell Whiteman. Whilst many see Lisa Anna as a favorite and the best suited candidate to lead the People's National Party, it should be noted that she would have to face a strong challenge from Mark Golden who is currently the Member of Parliament for St. Andrew Southern and he has recently announced his interest in running for the President of the party. Based on the results coming out of the poll which was recently conducted, it shows that 34% of respondents believe that Lisa Hanna is best suited to lead the PNP. Mark Golden was seen as the best suited candidate to lead by 26% of the respondents, while 14% thought that Julian Robinson was the best suited. 5% indicated that Philip Paulwell was more suited, and 2% indicated that Mikhail Phillips would be best suited to lead the PNP party. Of these respondents identified themselves as PNP delegates and 43% of these delegates indicated that they wanted to see Lisa Hanna as the next president of the PNP party whilst 21% indicated that they would like to see Mark Golden as the next president of the PNP party. We are also considering Peter Bontin as a future leader of the People's National Party as the number of respondents that indicated that they would like to see him as the next president amounted to 37%. 28% also indicated that they did not know who to choose and because they could either find no one else, whilst another 23% indicated that Vice President of the People's National Party, Damian Crawford, would also be a suitable candidate for the President of the PNP Party. Many sources close to the People's National Party also believe that Mark Golden would start as the favorite if he were to offer himself as a challenger in the presidential race. They believe that this would be as a result of the major role that he played in Bunting's challenge in 2019. He was a major supporter of Peter Bunting at the time. There is also a strong belief that 90% of the PNP delegates who supported Peter Bunting would go on to support Mark Golden. 
support that would come from Mark Golding would be from many MPs and many other officers in the PNP. Of course, when Peter Phillips was challenged by Peter Bunting last year for the president of the People's National Party, he campaigned under the one PNP banner. And of course, his focus was unity at the time. Now, Hannah and Golden have not declared their intentions to run as candidates for the president of the People's National Party, but they have signaled that they are interested in doing the same. Member of Parliament for Manchester Northwestern, Mikhail Phillips, who is the son of Dr. Peter Phillips, has also indicated that he is interested in running for president of the PNP's National Party. However, he is in consultation with the National Executive Council, which is the highest decision-making body in the People's National Party. And Crawford, who is the Vice President of the party, has also mentioned that he is interested in running for the President of the party. However, he is consulting with delegates before declaring his intentions publicly. Norman Horn had declared that he was interested in contesting the presidential election if it was the will of the delegates and he is currently one of the senators that have been named by Dr. Peter Phillips. Recently, he has mentioned that he is re-examining his decision whether or not to go forward as a candidate for the presidential election. Of course, he has not made an official statement, but he could also make an announcement today along with Lisa Hanna and Mark Golden in regards to challenging Challenging any other candidates that may announce their intentions to contest the People's National Party's presidential elections. A diverse group of Jamaicans believe that Lisa Anna should be the future leader of the People's National Party. She is specifically popular among those under the age of 35 years old. And she is supported by more voters than all of her opponents combined. The strongest opponent that would pose a challenge to Lisa Hanna is Mark Golden, as he is more popular among those who are 55 years and older. The poll that was conducted also shows similar results, where for the 18 to 24 years old age group, Hanna has 34% support, while Mark Golden has only 4%. For the 25 to 34 age group, Hannah has 22%, while Mark Golden only had 8%. For the older age group of 35 to 44 and 45 to 54, Lisa Hannah enjoys 15% and 19% as well, whilst Mark Golden has 12% and 9%. Hannah recently made a statement in regards to the need for unity, love, and renewal within the People's National Party in order for them to become the party of choice for the Jamaican electorate. Of course, while she has not officially declared her intentions to run as a candidate in the presidential elections, it is widely believed and accepted that she is in place the necessary communication and campaign machinery and consulting others to ensure that she makes the right decision about her future in the People's National Party. Mark Golden recently announced his intention to run as a candidate for the PNP's presidential elections. However, he has not made any recent statements, but we can expect that Lisa Hanna will formally announce her candidacy for the presidential elections of the People's National Party today. And also, maybe Norman Horn, Peter Bunting, and Damian Crawford, along with Mikhail Phillips, will also make their announcements at the National Executive Council's meeting today as well. Now, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about all of these candidates who are potential leaders of the People's National Party. Do you think of Peter Bunting leading the party?
Are you also in favor of Lisa Hanna leading the party as she is a female and many persons believe that a female would be most suitable to lead the party at this time? What do you think about Mikhail Phillips or even Julian Robinson or even Damian Crawford? taking over as the president of the people's national party now of course we would like to hear what your comments are on all of these potential candidates and we await all of the announcements that will be made today at the delegates conference at the national executive council's meeting now like comment share and subscribe and remember to stay safe